to Bungan Island, the most densely populated island in the world. A land where the houses are tightly knit as if holding on to each other, and the community that has been living harmoniously for over 200 years. Located in the Alice district of Sumbawa Regency, West Nusa Tenggara Province, Indonesia, Bungan isn't just an island, it's a testament to human adaptability and community strength. The history of Bungan Island is not well documented, but it is believed that the Bajau people have been living on the island for centuries. The earliest known settlement on the island was established around 200 years ago when a small group of Bajau fishermen used the tiny coral cove to dry their nets. However, they were forced to move there permanently after being attacked by the Samboanese, a neighboring ethnic group. With a population of approximately 3,400 people spread across an area of about 8.5 hectares, Bungan Island boasts a staggering population density of roughly 400 individuals per hectare. This unique statistic places it among the world's most densely inhabited islands, a living testament to the harmonious coexistence of humanity within a limited space. The majority of the people on Bungan Island are from the Bajau ethnic group, who are known as the Sea Gypsies. The Bajau are a seafaring people who have traditionally lived on boats or in floating villages. They are skilled divers and fishermen, and they have a deep knowledge of the marine environment. Life on Bungan Island is undoubtedly a challenge. The island is small and crowded and the resources are limited. However, the Bajau people have adapted to their environment and have created a thriving community. They are resilient and resourceful people and they are a testament to the human ability to survive and thrive in even the most difficult of circumstances. Despite facing the daily challenges of living on a coral reef, including twice daily inundations by high tides that force them to take refuge in their homes, the Bajau people of Bungin Island have built a flourishing community centered around a generational fishing industry. Rich in marine resources, the sea surrounding the island not only sustains their way of life, but has also turned Bungan Island into a popular tourist destination. Capitalizing on this, the villagers offer immersive fishing and diving tours to visitors. While fishing remains the primary occupation, some inhabitants have branched out into seaweed farming and other marine-related activities, providing an alternative source of income and reducing the pressure on fish stocks. Structured governance is the backbone of Bungan Island's traditional setup. Village elders and leaders hold a revered position in Bajau society. Their wisdom, experience, and knowledge of traditions make them crucial pillars of the community. They play vital roles in decision-making, conflict resolution, and cultural preservation. Unique customs and traditions continue to thrive within Bungan Island's close-knit community. One such custom is the way they build their houses. The people of Bungan Island build their houses using a traditional technique called coral stacking. This involves stacking pieces of coral on top of each other to create a foundation for the house. The coral is then covered with sand and soil and the house is built on top of this. The coral stacking technique is a sustainable way to build houses on Bungan Island. The coral is a natural material that is resistant to the elements and it helps to protect the island from erosion. Another captivating facet is the island's unconventional land ownership system. A local saying echoes the sentiment, no selling, no buying. 
Land ownership transcends transactional norms, passing down through generations rather than being sold to outsiders, reinforcing the island's self-contained ethos. The Bajau people of Bungan Island are a matrilineal society. This means that the women are the heads of households and they own the property and control the inheritance. The men are responsible for providing for the family, but they do not have any authority over the women or the property. There are several reasons why the Bajau people are a matrilineal society. One reason is that the Bajau are a seafaring people, and the women are often the ones who stay behind to take care of the home and the children while the men are away fishing. This gives women a lot of power and influence in the community. Bungan Island has limited educational facilities. While basic education is available, higher education often requires traveling off the island. Nevertheless, informal education, like the teaching of traditional practices, boat building and navigation skills, is deeply embedded in the island's culture. Another fascinating aspect of life on Bungan Island involves its unique goat population. Due to the island's limited size and density, vegetation is scarce, making it difficult to find enough grass or leaves for the goats to graze on. As a result, these resilient creatures have developed an unusual diet. They consume paper and rags. Anything made of cellulose, including cardboard, newspapers, and even plastic bags, becomes a source of sustenance for them. The paper offers the fiber they require, while the rags supply vital nutrients, allowing them to adapt and thrive in this challenging environment. In the realm of cuisine, the ocean's bounty reigns supreme. Freshly harvested fish, succulent octopus, and a myriad of marine delights form the heart of daily meals. The island's culinary traditions come alive through grilling over open flames, aromatic spice-infused stews, and accompaniments like rice and sago. As the sands of time continue their ceaseless journey, Bungan Island stands as an emblem of resilience, solidarity, and the profound kinship shared between humanity and nature. The islanders, united in purpose, work tirelessly to forge a future where their distinctive way of life harmonizes with an ever-evolving world. 